Okay, this is the second video in the percent set. So first time we talked about the fundamental percent relationship, part equals percent times whole. Really, really important. I encourage you to write it down on problems. It's a big deal. Now we talked a little bit about how to tell what from what and how to modify percents from 100. All this stuff will come into play when the ACT asks you harder percent questions. A lot of times they take the form of percent questions with a couple of steps. They either come in really, really long questions like you have at the bottom of your screen, or really short questions. Now let's work through this example. Um, if you're on a mobile device or something, you have trouble reading it in the corner of your screen, this is ACT example number three from the section. Okay, let's break this into statements first. For more on that, check out the video and the material on make an equation in elementary algebra. So Tescal Labs is following a patent for super soldier serum the lab developed. In the patent paperwork, they detail the results of a trial involving 1,000 volunteers. There was no effect in 70%. Volunteers, no effect. That should be effect. Grammar. Of the volunteers that experienced an effect, 20% had enhanced endurance. So 20% of uh, affected endurance. You can probably tell where this question is going. How many volunteers received enhanced endurance? So this is a part of a part sort of question. You're, you're sort of funneling down. You've got how many volunteers, how many were affected, step two, how many of them got the endurance? Um, it can work the other way around. You can start with how many got the endurance, how many were affected, how many volunteers, or you can kind of mix the bag up a little bit three ways these problems work. So to start with, we need to have a number. And the only number we have is 1,000 volunteers. That's before anything happens to them. So remember before is whole. So 1,000 volunteers is our whole. Now here's our percent. 70% of the volunteers had no effect, had no effect. We actually don't care about that 70%. Okay, we care about the 30% that were affected. Why? Because that's what we're dealing with in the second sample, in the second step. So we can say, sure, we could say 70% times 1,000 and be 700 and then subtract that from 1,000. But again, learn how to modify those percents. 70% of volunteers had no effect. That means 30%, 100% minus 70% did have an effect and that'll equal our part. We multiply those together. 30% 0 0.3 and 1,000, we get 300 that were affected. So we know 300 were affected now. And again, 20% of those got endurance. So here's what generally happens. Whatever we solve for here becomes either the next whole or the next part. A lot of times it'll flip. So what was the part here now becomes our whole because this is 300 is what's happened, or what our number is rather, before that 20% is applied. So 300 was part, now it's whole, and now we're ready to get going. Now, I don't need to actually modify this percent because I'm interested in that 20%. I'm interested in the ones that got the endurance, I don't care about the other 80%. So in the first step I did, right, because I wanted the obverse, I wanted the opposite of what it gave me. They gave me didn't have an effect, I needed had an effect. So I can just go ahead and multiply this by 20% and find my part. And my part or the number of volunteers who uh, had enhanced endurance will equal 60. Now there's a several ways these problems can work like I mentioned a minute ago. So really go through this section. There's some great problems in the problem set as well. Um, these tend to show up question 30 plus 
pretty common uh, and it's definitely worth a look because they're really not that bad. Just like anything on pre-algebra, these problems really reward a solid setup and uh, being very methodical as you approach it. All right, then third video in this set is on percent change. Pretty common, often missed. Check it out as well.